happened? What? I gotta keep my hands away from my face because y'all saw what happened last time. But what's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's hey? What's popping? What's popping? What's hey? What's up, Tiger Lily Squad? Gang, gang! How you living? How you breathing? How you feeling? What's good? Hey, happy November. We are in November. Yo, we are in November, fam. Wow. I'm good. I'm happy. 2020 tech way yourself. <laughs> uh, before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on all your post notification bells. Follow me on all social media platforms at Essence of Shay. I'm trying to get this channel to 14K before 2021. We've been stuck in the teens for a little minute. It's time for us to advance. So I'm coming and I'm coming correct. Um, so don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't already and turn those post notification bells on so you don't miss any of my posts. Okay, um, let's get right into the video. Hi, so in this video, I will be talking about the uh, lock stereotypes. I did a video like this a while ago. If I could find it, I'll probably repost it because it was funny. Um, but I wanted to do an upgraded one and I just finished washing my hair. If you haven't already, follow me on um, my Instagram at Essence of Shea. I did a reel showing you the product that I used. It's my Peppermint Revival Shampoo. Uh, if you wanna see how that lather lathers up and keeps your hair fresh and clean, head, head over there. So um, yeah, ooh, Jesus, ooh, Jesus, ooh. That thing wet, wet. She wet. She wet. I'm dead. So one of the stereotypes of people with locks is that your hair does not shrink. Look at all this shedding. And this shedding comes from me coloring my hair, but my hair just naturally sheds. I've come to accept it. Um, but yeah, it, in locks, it says that it, people think that locks don't shrink. Listen, I'll show you the length of my hair right now. Can you see it? This is the longest one and it's like mid thigh, right? When this socket dries, I mean, it's still that length, but it does shrink a little bit. So don't, don't get it twisted that locks don't shrink because sissy, honey child, it do. Second thing that I noticed that people talk a lot about is that having locks is not feminine enough. What What are you talking about? <laughs> Yo, you know your girl always been a stunner. <laughs> but ever since I had started my lock journey, I get approached approach a lot more from men and a lot of women uh, find me attractive as well. And it's more than normal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand why people think that having locks is manly. But let me just sit here and tell you that that is not the truth. And if you want locks, but that's what, what's stopping you, don't listen to them, sis. Number three is that locks stink. Now, <laughs> I've been around some people who locks have had a not so pleasant smell and that is not because of actual locks is because of they're just not taking care of their hair properly or they're washing it and they're not letting it dry all the way so that could be mildew or they take forever to wash their hair like they work out a lot like me and the sweat glands just build up a lot and they just don't wash their hair. That could be a situation too, sis. So locks do not stink. And people who think that locks stink are freaking retarded. I'm sick of them. I'm sick of you. Another misconception is that you cannot wet your locks. 
Like you can't go in the shower and wet them. You can't go in the beach and wet them. If anything, locks thrive more when moisture hits it. Now I ain't telling you to go out there and OD like when it's raining, just run out in the rain and have fun because you're going to get sick. Nah. And you ain't going to blame Shay. Nah. But <laughs> um, you can wet your hair, especially in the beginning. I might have been one of those people who told you like in the beginning of your log journey, don't wet your hair, be cautious of it. Uh, you could wet your hair, but your hair is more sensitive to unravel. So you just have to like be be more careful with it. But you can wet your hair, fam. Like don't go around there not wetting your hair, not moisturizing your hair. That's crazy. Another misconception is that if you ask me how I started my lock journey, how many locks I have, what do I do to my locks, that your locks are gonna turn out just like mine's. No, 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 <laughs> no. Um, I can give you advice. I can tell you what worked for me. Um, a lot of us always say what works for me is not gonna work for you, it's trial and error. At the same token, do not get disappointed if you follow someone and you do what they do and your locks do not come out like theirs. You can't get mad, fam, because everybody's journey is different. Everyone's hair texture is different. It's just different. So I won't say you'll be foolish, but you'll be naive to think that your locks are going to turn out just like mine's when me and you don't have the same hair texture we don't do things the same way like it just uh-uh 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 people with locks another one is that people with locks are vegans so i love me a good chicken hey i love me a good steak on a on a understand even though in 2021 i am going to transition to pescatarian Yes, yes. Let's see if I how long I could do it. Um, but that's the goal, right? But that's farthest from the truth. Like people with locks are not all vegan, and we shouldn't be shamed for it because that's not it. That's not our ministry. Now, there's a difference between having locks and being Rasta. Now that's a whole different discussion, eh? Um I have family that are Rasta and they just live differently and that is different from a person with locks. Last but not least, is this not really a misconception, but it's an, an annoyance for me, is that people who just start their lock journey, who've had their locks for about a year or so, coming up on youtube and social media and all kind of stuff and telling folks that people who have had locks way longer and have learned a lot telling them that what we're saying is not the truth that um you can color your hair in the beginning you can do all it like listen you could do anything that you want to do because it is your hair but there's a reason why you come to people who have been doing it for a while that's like if you want to start a business selling lashes right you can you would rather would you rather go to someone who just started uh, six months ago and is doing well or you want to go to the person who has been doing this for years and is doing more than well has the backstory has things for you to prevent from doing so you don't take a step back learn from it and be like dang I shouldn't you know what I'm saying you get you get what I'm trying to say I feel it very disrespectful and maybe I'm just reaching too much into it, but I feel it very disrespectful for people who have just started their locks to think that they know way more than people who have had locks forever. 
That's just my thoughts. Like I said, my thoughts. I could be wrong, but that's just my thoughts. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also put down in the comment box below, what are some lock misconceptions or lock stories or untruths that you have heard in your lock journey or before you even thinking about starting locks? Let me know. Let me know in the comment box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much for watching. See you later, Tiger Lily. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the